He had a huge air jammer play, I think, uh, yesterday and uh, took a win off of it. But, Akamaru Red, are you on the line? Can you hear me? <gasps> what does that say? Hello. What is that? What's I'm in happening? a good mood. I'm, it's, it's, my, it's my soccer team. Ooh. Uh, they just they won today, so we are first place. First yeah, place in what? I'm in a good mood. Yeah. Uh, no, National League, uh, Soccer League. Oh, awesome. Hey, congratulations. I definitely know a lot about sports ball, but uh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you very much for, for sharing that. Uh, is soccer something that's like a very big, I guess it, it part of, it's part of your culture, right? Tell me a little bit more about yeah. the team. It's, uh, it's, we haven't been champions for 16 years. Oh uh, my we God. We are very, yeah, we are a very big sports team. Uh, we are, we have like 70 sports. It was also the first uh, Portuguese team to join esports. We have a FIFA team and uh, they're working on a League of Legends team as well, Counter-Strike as well. So they're That's pushing awesome. esports. That's awesome. Wow. Yeah, and they, they, so their first they win in 16 years. And uh, uh, we haven't been champions yet. We are first place at the so oh, just... got it, got it, got it. Awesome, and they're supporting esports. That's great. What if people want to search and learn more about this team? Where what do they kind of search for here? Uh, Sporting Clube de Portugal. Sporting. <laughs> it means Portugal. Uh, it means Sporting Portugal Club. Sporting Portugal Club. Club. Yeah, Sporting SCP. Sporting Clube de Portugal. SCP. Wow. So definitely go check that out, guys. Anybody who's supporting esports is great. And we have uh, a big fan of them. Akamaru Red, uh, you are a World Grand Prix invitee and also just freshly <laughs> and also just freshly second place finisher in the uh in the current season in Star Forge Legends. Now, I'm I'm sure that you were looking for the first place finish. I think it's still an incredible task for you to take second here. Uh, how are you feeling right now? How do you feel about your World Grand Prix preparation? I know you're a player who takes their preparation very very seriously. Where's your headspace at? Ah, uh, it's I'm thinking about Japan. Uh, I haven't practiced too much at all this season. Mm. I think you could tell that. From week to week, I was performing worse and worse, <laughs> and I kept being repetitive because I didn't know new decks because mm. I didn't have a lot of time. So I kept playing the same comfortable lists as Exo pointed perfectly. Mm -hmm. uh, you could definitely tell what I was going to play. Mm -hmm. So this this season, I didn't prepare too much, but I got far. I was really surprised that I got far. I I expected to get down to losers mm. on the first game, and I did. And then I, I, it was amazing to get out of the gauntlet. It mm. was super stressful to play around. <laughs> yeah. I played around 18 damage for like 10 turns. It oh, gosh. Something I don't want my worst enemy to have to face. <laughs> 18 damage for 10 turns. That sounds incredibly scary. But you played some <laughs> very, very, very good games against Fatina uh, yesterday. What are some of the things? Uh, has that schedule freed up for you? Do you find that you have more time to prepare for Japan now? Um, are you feeling comfortable? It's happening in just a few days. Uh, my practice for Japan is going to be the 13-hour flight I have to do. <laughs> I also have to wait two hours, I think, or one hour in Swiss for my flight. That's so right, I have yeah. to fly from Portugal to Swiss and then to Japan. So that will be my practice, 13 or 14 hours of practice. Nice. And then some take twos when I get to Japan with the boys, mm -hmm. if they're up to it. Yeah. I'm very comfortable with take two. I'm like envy. Uh, I, I've I've been playing Take Two ever since I started the game. I really like to play Take Two. I'm actually, I'm actually a better Take Two player than a constructive player. So mm, that's, that's I got excited when I saw that. Yeah. Take Two is definitely a an interesting part. That element of deck building and understanding the format is definitely a skill set. Uh, I asked Envy for for her recommendations here, but I, I'll ask you the same question. What is your kind of what do you think are the big points, like either the biggest key point or a few key points you think about take two that you put as a rule of thumb for yourself whenever you're going into a game? Yeah, so the main three points are pick two for ones, pick two for one cards like Big Knuckle Bodyguard, Fenrir. Notice that all the cards I'm saying are Bloodcraft, so, <laughs> uh, so like pick all the two for ones. A second point is pick removal, uh, put a heavy. Uh, uh, heavy uh, priority uh, importance, mm. yeah, priority in removal because once you go out of evos, you have no way to answer or react, so you want the removals. And third, get the the bombs, what get we call the bombs. the bombs, like 
you know the 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 like the Barbarossas, the Bahamuts, the even Agus can sometimes win a lot of games. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Interesting. I you know I'm gonna have to start practicing some take two myself. Uh, uh, and getting getting used to that. So, uh, we've been talking about some new cards, some new Portal Craft stuff. I don't know if you've been following along at, at all, but have you been looking at some new Portal Craft cards and, and taking a look at the class mechanics at all? Absolutely. Uh, the first class I started playing when I started playing Shadowverse was PTP Forest. Now I can play PTP Forest with better fairies. So I'm all <laughs> with in better for that. fairies. I yeah. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to unlimited and I'm gonna start playing Portal Cl PTP Puppet Portal. Easy. <laughs> Easy. That that would be uh that would be fantastic to watch. Make sure you stream those games, by the way. Uh, <laughs> also, there's a few questions that I have now. Obviously, the finger guns, right? You've got the finger guns. That's in your identity. Uh, what? So I I see you got some sleek. You know, you take care of your hands, which is very important for you. What what? Where do you where did you get those gloves? What are they all about? Uh, it's for my mom. I was, uh, my hands were frozen, and I'm like, I have my hands are freezing. Uh, it's very cold in Portugal, and she's like, uh, use my gloves. This are you. This are woman's gloves, by the way. This is my mom's. I don't have gloves. So They're imbued with see. the heart and the emotion of your mother. So yes, that's yeah, hey, you know, also important. Take that with you to Japan. So it's gonna be cold in Japan for one. Also, if you play on stage and once, you know, the cameras and the lights and the crowd and all of that gets crazy, I don't know if you get nervous, but sometimes you can get cold hands. Make sure you bring your gloves, have little hand warmers. I think that's very useful and uh, that, that'll be really good advice. And you'll have the support of your of your family behind you when, while you wear those gloves. So interesting yeah. to know. Good to know. Uh, I have a, a kind of final question for you. What are you most looking forward to doing in Japan when you head there? Eating eating sushi, drinking tea. Eating sushi and drinking tea. Well, let's definitely make sure we have yes. some time to do that. Also, uh, I want to I want to add something uh some Japanese players have been following me on Twitter and tweeting uh, like, Oh yeah, I meant to ask fans, you about that. Apparently, yeah. So, apparently uh someone on Japan posted our profile pictures, uh -huh. and someone said that I should, if I am not successful at Shadowverse, I should be a Hollywood star. <laughs> so all that tweet at like 200 likes or something. So everyone knew my name, and I got someone that recognized my name. He was playing against me today. It was actually my brother, and he sent me a tweet. I played against you. Thank you so much, and good luck in the world. So I was like, <laughs> what people are thanking for playing against them. I actually saw that. There was a whole comment thread about your picture, and everybody was like, oh my god, he looks so scary. Japan's done. He's like, his fighting yeah, pose is too scary. That was, I mean, your, to be fair, your picture is quite incredible. I mean, I don't know where you learned to pose like that. I don't know if you fight people on your off time, uh, but please don't punch me. That would be very appreciated. Uh, Akamaru Red, always a pleasure to, get, to talk to you. And uh, any last things that you want to say before we kind of push the show forward? Uh, yeah, I want to uh, I want to give a special note to Mr. Bottles and all you guys. I want you to pay attention to my deck, and the main focus of my deck is one specific card. You'll recognize it immediately, and as soon as I summon that card, I'll be doing something special. So hopefully I'll draw that card. I will mulligan for it. Hopefully I will summon it, and I'm going to do something special. Also, big shout-outs to Kirako and Rias. They are big supporters of my of what I do. They hang on our Discord, and they were the ones that combined together and made this deck. I call this deck Zexal, Zexal Exceed change Kyorias. I can't wait Something to see what it is. <laughs> I have no idea what the reference is, but thank you so much for the time. I come <laughs> red. Uh, looking forward to seeing the game between uh, bottles here. Uh, and that's the last match. It's a very interesting stuff. Did you guys actually see all the.